The Marshall Fire sent so many people running for their lives. And the owners of a doggy daycare in Superior that day in December left them overwhelmed trying to figure out how to get all those dogs to safety. Well, here we are more than four months later and the daycare is back open. Deborah Sevens, Ivan Rodriguez shows us just how they recovered from the fire. Outside of Dog Tag in Superior, you can still see some of the damage left behind by the Marshall Fire. But inside its doors, there's a return to normalcy. Come here, bear. He's a big bear. For years, Donnell Slater has run Dog Tag in Superior, but her love of working with animals started much earlier. I've always loved working with animals, so this is just kind of a dream for me to have my own business. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. That same dream she worked toward realizing almost disappeared in minutes the day of the Marshall Fire. When I stepped outside for a moment, I did smell the smoke, but we couldn't see anything. As the fire approached, they started their evacuation plan, which included getting all their dogs inside a trailer, but time was running out. By the time we hooked up the trailer and turned to go position the trailer, the fire was already there. They put as many dogs as they could into their cars, but there wasn't room for all. I finally went back in and just made sure, double sure that every dog was out of the kennel. There was about 10 that we couldn't fit into the cars. So we ended up just, you know, plan Z, open the gates. This video shows the moment Boulder County Animal Control arrived to dog tag. Some of the dogs that had been freed, following them back inside. Eventually, all dogs were found safe. I think animals are really instinctual and they have a much better chance of survival if they're out then locked into a, a kennel. Slater's business lost the barn and fencing to the fire. Ash and Soot also covered the gravel the dogs used to play on. Everything insurance would not cover was able to be replaced thanks to community fundraising. I had a lot of support from family and friends. My employees were amazing. Um, reaching out, sending thank you cards. For Slater, reopening comes with a sense of pride. Their former entry sign, damaged by the fire, now sits inside their office, reminding them of what could have been lost. It tells its own story of resilience. A story Slater wants to continue to tell for years to come. <laughs> Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.